Turning the cabin fans to off prevents the recirculation of contaminated air into the cabin and the bottle discharges in approximately 60 seconds. The amber discharge light comes on when the associate bottle is discharged. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Captain SQ where we're going to discuss on airbus systems, emergency procedures and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. A320 cargo smoke procedure, before we start, do refer to your company manuals, this video is merely a guide. And for the low cost of free, do smash the like button, it will help tons in the YouTube algorithm and it will make your life better. Do also subscribe and press the notification bell for latest upcoming videos. And with that said, let's begin. Question, what are the causes of cargo smoke? Well, cargo smoke may be a result of aircraft electrical failures or overheat of components, electrical devices, and lithium batteries or hazardous materials inside the cargo. Hence, it is important you adhere to the dangerous goods regulation that is laid out by your local authorities. The forward and aft cargo compartments have smoke detection systems. The forward cargo compartment has two smoke detectors that are located in the ceiling panel cavities. Some aircraft are fitted with four detectors in the forward cargo compartment. The aft cargo compartment has four detectors and are located in the ceiling panel cavities. Some aircraft, there are six smoke detectors in the aft cargo compartment. The smoke detectors are linked to a smoke detection control unit or SDCU for short which transmit the signal to the ECAM and overhead panel. Two conditions, smoke in one cavity activates the cargo smoke warning if both smoke detectors detect smoke or one smoke detector detects smoke and the other is inoperative. Let's just have a look at the cargo smoke system. The aircraft may be fitted with either a one bottle or two bottle fire suppressant system. With the one bottle system, the agent can only be discharged into the forward or aft cargo compartment. With the two bottle system, both agents can only be discharged into the forward or aft cargo compartment. This system is fitted for extended diversion twin operations or EDTO aircraft. And do comment in the section below what is EDTO. I repeat, the bottle is only available either the forward or aft cargo compartment. So you might ask, what if fire break out on both cargo compartments? Which one should I put out? Well, it is like you are a father and have two daughters. You love them both equally. Just as both fires in the aft and forward compartment are equally critical, it is highly unlikely you get both fires at the same time. I guess. Well, let us move on to single bottle ECAM procedure. When the smoke detectors are activated, they transmit a warning to the ECAM and overhead panel. Pilot monitoring will announce ECAM, smoke, aft, cargo, smoke. Pilot flying will say, I have control, I have the radio, ECAM actions. Turning the cabin fans to off prevents the recirculation of contaminated air into the cabin and the bottle discharges in approximately 60 seconds. The amber discharge light comes on when the associate bottle is discharged. So this is rather simple and straightforward. So example, if the fire is out, would you still divert the aircraft to the nearest airport? Well, do comment in the section below on what you think. Okay, let us see the two bottle ECAM procedure. Turning the cabin fans to off prevents the recirculation of contaminated air into the cabin. Bottle 1 discharge in approximately 60 seconds. The amber discharge light comes on when the associated bottle is discharged. And 60 minutes after the discharge of Agent 1, the discharge Agent 2 light comes on to indicate the flight crew has to discharge Agent 2 to maintain the required extinguisher concentration in the cargo compartment. Flow metering system controls the discharge of Bottle 2 over approximately 90 minutes. This ensures sufficient agent concentration for 205 minutes. Well, go watch a football match and after 90 minutes, come back. Well, just kidding. After 90 minutes, bottle 2 will be fully discharged and the amber discharge 2 light comes on. The crew should be aware that even after successful operation of the cargo fire bottle, the cargo smoke warning might persist due 
to the smoke detectors being sensitive to the extinguishing agent. After landing, the crew should instruct the ground crew not to open the cargo door until the passengers have disembarked and fire services are present. And cargo smoke on the ground. On the ground, the warning may be triggered due to a high level of humidity or pollution, for example, jet exhaust fumes. If smoke warning is displayed on ground before departure with the cargo compartment door open, do not initiate an agent discharge. Keep calm and request that the ground crew investigate and eliminate the smoke source. So that's it for this video. Let me know what videos you want to watch. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.